Today, I want to show you how I used NRN and AI to automate content creation for a faceless TikTok account and got more than 1 million views in a week, which is insane. And to show you that I'm not lying, here you can see the analytics of the two best performing posts. The first post is at 1.3 million views and the second post is at 500,000 views. And here you can see the NRN workflow that got me these results. If you don't know what you're looking at, don't worry, because we're going to build a similar workflow together so that you can see how cool and powerful NADN is. Now, the point of this video isn't really about the posts. It is how easy it is to build and automate almost anything using NADN. As a developer, I always rejected the idea of using no-code tools because they always promise the word and deliver nothing. But NADN is different. It is fair code, meaning that you get a visual interface with drag and drop, but you can write a JavaScript or Python whenever you need to do something complex or use tools that NADN doesn't support. So I can connect things visually, but I'm never locked in. The best of both worlds. For this TikTok experiment, I could have written the Python code myself, but the best code is the one that doesn't need to be written. Also, since NADN integrates so well with so many different APIs, like Google Drive, OpenAI, Gemini, etc., I didn't spend my time in reading each of their documentation. I just used the NADN nodes and that's it. Before we build the workflow together, let me tell you how a developer like me ended up with a faceless TikTok account. I was recording the NADN Masterclass course that I already talked about in this channel before, and I was looking for cool automation ideas to build. In the course, we build 18 projects to automate various tasks, like creating YouTube thumbnails, drafting emails, AI agents, etc. I had 17 projects already built, and I was looking for one last project idea, the graduation project, that was fun to build and that involved image and video generation with AI. I promise you, I don't know what brought me there, because I didn't even have TikTok installed on my phone at that time. But somehow, I ended up in the TikTok website, not even the app, specifically in this profile. It's a Japanese account with more than 1 million followers and 21 million likes that only posts content generated by AI. Videos of national animals dressed in traditional outfits as if they were kings or the same animals dressed as mafia bosses or representing luxury brands and tons of other ideas. Those videos have millions of views and likes. They also have people arguing in the comments about their dress, the animal representing the country, etc. Which is great for the algorithm. So after spending an amount of time that I'm not proud of watching those videos, it hit me. Everything that makes those videos can be automated. Take the animals as kings video. All we need to start is five countries. We think of them and then ask GPT for their national animal and traditional outfit. Once we have that, we write a prompt for a scene where the national animal dressed in the traditional outfit is standing tall in a palace next to a beautiful lady. With that prompt, we hit a text to image model. I used Sea Dream 4 by ByteDance. Once we have the images, we use an image to video model. I use used Seal Dance 1 Pro by ByteDance again. And once we have the videos, we download them, upload them to TikTok, and we're done. Now, let's build that exact workflow together. I'm going to go fast to give you the rough idea of how NADN works. For the full deep dive, check out the NADN Masterclass course where we build 18 projects using Google Drive, Gmail, OpenAI, Gemini, Notion, Telegram, Appify, and more. We even learn how to put NADN in our own server and how to write custom notes. The link is in the description. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so in this empty new workflow, we're going to first add a trigger. And a trigger is what starts our workflow. We're going to choose the manual trigger, which is the one that allows us to run the trigger by clicking on a button. But there are other ones, like for example, there is a Gmail trigger that will run your workflow when you receive an email, or a Google Drive trigger that will run your workflow when you upload a file to Google Drive, or a Telegram trigger when you get a message, or a Notion trigger when you create a new page, and so on and so on. Okay, so we have our trigger here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the countries that we want to generate. So I'm going to go to Set Fields Node, and here I'm going to say that I want to create a new variable called Countries, okay? The type of this is Array, okay? And here I have the countries that I want to generate, Spain, Thailand, Korea, Germany, and Mexico. All right, and I'm good to go. So here I will click execute the step or execute the node. Okay, and as you can see here, they show me the output of this node. Okay, the output of the node seen in JSON looks like this, which is just one item, which is an array of many countries. What we have to do next is we have to take that array and break it apart. Okay, so we're going to add a new node called the split out node. And here all we have to do is drag and drop this variable name like that. Okay, and we are going to change the name to country, like that. 
Okay, and as you can see now, we are we are outputting five items. Okay, and here we have the country, country Thailand, country Korea, country Germany, country Mexico. Cool. Now here you can see also the input and the output of the node. As you can see, the split out node receives as an input one item, which is the array that this node creates. But the output of split out is five items. You can think of it like a function. Split out is a function that receives an input, okay, and it outputs five items. So it receives an array of countries and outputs each country individually. Okay, now this is useful because now we're going to create an AI agent node. Okay, and here we're going to write a prompt saying something like, please tell me what is the national animal of, and I'm going to just drag and drop the country variable. Okay, so this one comes from the input and here you can see your inputs. So as you can see the split out gives you one country individually, but of course later NAN is going to say country Spain, country Thailand, country Korea, country Mexico, and so on and so on. Okay, but here what we have to do is just drag and drop the variable and this is what the AI agent will see, which is super cool. So we say, please tell me what is a national animal of Spain. Okay, and describe to me the national traditional outfit of, again, Spain. Okay, for both, man, men, and women. Done. Now, because AI models sometimes reply with a lot of verbosity, like, great question, let me help you out, blah, 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 blah. We don't want that. So here, all we have to do is say, um, go to the point, do not be verbose. Okay, perfect. Now, because I still want to make sure that my AI agent replies only with the national animal and only with the outfit description, I am going to require a specific output format. Okay, and now I'm gonna exit here. And as you can see, my agent needs some things like, for example, a chat model. So I'm gonna say open AI chat model here. This is basically the brain of the agent. Okay, and we're going to choose GPT 4.1 mini. This one is fine. Okay, and also an output parser. I'm gonna choose the structure output parser. And what this does is it allows me to give an example to the AI agent of what is the output that I want. Okay, so here I will write an example. So for example, I will say something like animal. And here I will say white tiger. And then here I will say outfit like this. And I will just give again an example to the AI agent. So here I will say um, white robe with green and yellow colors in the neck. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Again, just an example for the AI agent. Okay, cool. So we are ready to test it out and see if our AI agent can reply correctly. I am going to click execute workflow here. All right, and as you can see, the AI agent is now thinking. It is using the brain. It is also structuring the output. And as you can see, it is doing this for every item that it received as an input. And as we know, the AI agent will receive five items as an input, okay? Five items means each of the countries. Now, if we open this up, we will see the output of the AI agent. And it's exactly what we expected. Animal, bull, outfit, and the description. Animal, elephant, outfit, and the description. Fantastic. Now, so we don't get lost, we can come in here and we can add the country so we know what we're talking about. So country, let's come here and do Spain, for example. Okay, and again, this is the example in the output parser. All right, so now we can run this again and we will see that it works. Cool. So we have the national animal of the country. We also have the dress. Now all we have to do is send that to a text to image model and we're good to go. For that, we're going to use Replicate. Replicate is a great website that I really like that hosts a bunch of really cool models. Okay, and it has a very nice API that we can just hit from n 8 to generate whatever we want with whatever model we choose. In our case, we're going to use C Dream 4 by ByteDance. It is very, very good. I like it. It works very well. And every image costs, I would say, three cents. If I'm not wrong, here they tell you, yep, three cents per output image. That is 33 images for one dollar. That's fantastic. Cool. So how do we hit an API? All we have to do is come in here and we're going to hit an API using the HTTP request node. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Okay, so here we're going to change to post. All right, and we're going to copy here in HTTP. We can see and replicate exactly what we need to send. Okay, so this is the URL that we need to hit. So we paste that here. 
boom. Uh, we also have to send we have to send something in the body, and we have to send our um, authentication token. So I'm gonna do this very quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done. Here is the URL. We're gonna send a post request. Here is my authentication token. Now, don't worry, this doesn't work anymore. So you can't use it. Nobody can use it. And here is the JSON that we have to send to the API. And this is basically the parameters that the model wants. Okay. Now here there is the prompt that the model needs. Okay. And as you can see, there are a bunch of question marks. These question marks are what we have to fill in from what GPT, from what the AI agent told us. So here we say that we have a anthropomorphic and here we're going to delete this. Okay. And drag and drop the animal. And this is going to be bull for Spain and then tiger for Korea, elephant for Thailand and so on and so on. Okay. It is dressed in an ornate traditional male and we're going to put here ceremonial attire. So we say Spain ceremonial attire, for example. Okay. Okay, and here we're going to replace this for the outfit, okay, that the animal has. Okay, and we say that the color palette reflects the Spain culture. So we're going to come in here and say Spain culture or whatever country, because remember, this is going to run for every country, okay, in our array. Okay, and then besides the animal, uh, there is a noble human stunning woman from and here we are going to do this Spain again okay and again this is just a prompt you can tweak it to get better results but this prompt gave me very very good results okay form fitting traditional and again here Spain gown okay design blah blah blah, blah, blah. perfect and here again the protective uh, bull so animal the protective animal blah, blah 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 and that's it so how does this look like it looks like this Okay, we have a photographic image, okay, of a bull with massively powerful physique, okay? It is dressed in traditional male Spanish ceremonial attire for men and for women, okay? Next to him, there is a human noble woman from Spain, okay? And then we say it looks like a Spanish gown and the bull is big and protective and so on and so on. And that's it. That's our um, prompt. Easy. Cool. So now we're going to run this step and I will just wait because as you can see here, we're executing the node. We're sending API request to replicate. Okay. And again, this is happening for every country in our array of countries. You can see it here. The input of this node is five items. This means that seed dream is going to run five times. Okay. And the input, don't forget, is the previous output and the output is what the ChatGPT set, okay, what the AI model said. Okay, so here we just wait and it looks like it's done. Perfect, look at that. That's the response. Now, it doesn't look very well, very nice, but if you look at this, you will see that we have an output right here. You see, we have an output image. So let's download these images. Very easy to do. New node, HTTP request. Perfect, we're going to drag and drop that, that URL right here. How cool is that? You just drag and drop from the previous output into your new node. Fantastic. And then we say that we want to look at the response. Okay. And we want the files from the response. We execute the step. Okay. And we just downloaded the files. Let's take a look. So, whoa, that's a Spain. Nice. All right. Cool. And there's another one. Let's go for Thailand. Is it Thailand or Korea? Yeah, Thailand. There we go. Nice. Here. Nice. Okay. Works. Perfect. Cool. Nice. So what we're going to do next is since we have these files, since we have the images, we are now going to hit another model. And that is going to be the Seed Dance model. Seed Dance 1 Pro Fast. This one is again by ByteDance and it's very good. It's very good as an image to video model. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node here. Okay. And as you can see, I can create multiple branches. So after the images are generated, I download the images and we can rename this to download images. Okay. Whoa. And here we are now going to rename this C dance because this node is now going to take those images, send them to replicate, run C dance one pro fast and give us a video from the image. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'll be back when I'm done. 
Okay, and here I'm hitting the Replicate API, but now with Seed Dance One Pro, I send my authorization, uh, token, and whatever. And here I pass the parameters that the model needs. Okay, this is the prompt saying that the couple is going to walk towards the camera slowly in a cinematic way. Okay, and this model requires us to pass an image, a previous image, to animate the image to turn it into a video. Now again, because NADN is very cool, okay, our nodes, so this one, the seat dance node, can access the output of the previous node, right? Here you can see this is the input, and as an input, we get the output of the previous node, okay? And here in the output of the previous node is the URL for the image that we generated before. So all I have to do is come in here and drag and drop it there. Boom, like that. That's it, very cool. It's all about inputs and outputs. Nodes receive input and nodes have an output, okay? Fantastic. Cool, so that, that's it. That's literally all we have to do. So now I am going to execute this step and this one will take a while because, I mean, you're making a video. It takes a while, it takes longer than an image, okay? And all we have to do is wait. And once this is done, I'm going to make another node here to download the videos. And that is going to be very easy, okay? So we just wait, and once it's done, we download the videos, and we're done. Now that Seed Dance 1 is done, as you can see here in the response, we receive an output, which is where our video is at. So all we have to do is download that video. And for that, I created another HTTP request node. And all I have to do is drag and drop that variable right there. So as you can see, we can drag and drop things from our input, which is very cool. Okay, and then I will say that I care about the response and I wanna get the file out of the response, okay? So we run this step and that's it. That is gonna download each of the videos. And there we go, we have five videos. Let's take a look. So first one, nice. Okay, uh, second one, nice. Okay, looks good, no? It looks nice. Number three. Oh, very nice. Okay. Number four. Oh, Germany. Whoa. Okay. And number five. Nice. Look at the golden eagle from Mexico. Oh, it is moving his hands. All right. Nice. Awesome. And we're done. Wasn't that incredibly easy? Now, of course, this workflow is just a proof of concept. We should add error handling, tweak the prompt here and there to get better results, and save both the images and the videos in Google Drive so we can use them later. All of those things are covered in the NADN Masterclass course. It is actually a bit addictive to automate stuff. I love it. I promise you that after learning NADN, you're going to start seeing automation opportunities everywhere. Now, about my TikTok account and the posts that I made, I am unfortunately not going to share those with you today because I want the account to remain anonymous and I want to see how big it can get without me promoting it. Imagine it gets a million followers. That will be a pretty good YouTube video, right? So that's why I'm keeping it to myself for now. About the posts, all I will say is that they aren't about animals as kings because that concept is copied by everyone else. But they do have to do with countries, animals, famous people from that country, and even their main export. That's the only clue I'm giving you. They also aren't videos. They are slides with text on them and a background image, which is actually pretty cool because they cost less to make. I paid three cents per image versus six cents per second of video, which gets expensive quickly. If you want to try this, find one idea that performs well and make it manually. Then go crazy with NADN and make content non-stop until one pops. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the NADN Masterclass course in the description. And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Down the bio. Bye-bye.